We know that buyers and sellers in U.S. commercial real estate are feeling a little bit better now that the Federal Reserve has finally cut rates. Do you think we're at a bottom, that we've reached an inflection point? It's a good start. Um, I do think that in many sectors, and I'm going to put office aside, you know, we do feel that we're at a low point now. Like you said, you know, the rate cuts have started. Optimism is returning to the market. Uh, and we're seeing more transaction activity. We're seeing it on the credit side with loan pools, and we're seeing it on the equity side with bidder pools. So it does feel like we're hitting an inflection point. Um, again, office is, is kind of the outlier to those comments. So if the overall environment coming into the rate cut, Amy, had been pretty stagnant, logjam, not a lot happening, and now we're seeing a little bit more, uh, it sounds like we're still in the bottoming, uh, the bottom, the bottoming process. How many more rate cuts are required to really lift uh, this cycle, and how long does that take? Yeah. You know, the, the rate cuts, I think they're going to take a little longer, and I think the cycle is going to take a little longer. But what's interesting about real estate is I think there are some interesting opportunities, regardless of where we are in the cycle, that are more secular driven. And that's really where we're focusing and finding opportunities in the sector. So how does that process start for you? What, is there a, a fundamental decision? What is your philosophy in terms of making yeah. that decision? And then what sectors do you really like in this challenged environment? Because I imagine you're being super selective. <laughs> Super selective for sure. So what I'd say is we look for those opportunities is where is commercial real estate actually critical to some of the other just bigger, broader, secular trends and growth. So take technology, right? We all know that we've got, you know, we've got AI, we've got data storage, automation, robotics, all this is going on around us. What's really interesting is to think about where is physical real estate an important part of the infrastructure that it's going to take to actually drive that productivity and unlock that value. So I'll give you a couple examples. One, everyone talks about it, but I have to mention it because it's just a good crisp example is data centers. So for sure, you know, we understand that we have AI, we understand the need for data storage. You know, I think sometimes we we get a little bit um, confused, myself included, and you know, you kind of forget that when we talk about the cloud, the cloud is not in the sky, mm -hmm. right? The cloud is in the ground, the cloud is in a data center. And data centers are the physical real estate that we need to unlock the potential of productivity across the economy.